everybody, welcome back to Ever So Sweetly. Um, in today's video, we are doing a shop with me and we are at one of the best places ever, ever to shop at, especially window shopping at, and that is Ikea. Not only do they have the cutest and prettiest displays, and there's my pretty Tallulah with her new glasses. Come show everybody your new glasses. If you move them, sure why it looks like there's like black in them, but they're like Oh clear, yeah, it does. So. Let's see. Yeah, they look beautiful. So, um, yes, anyways, the best place to shop is Ikea. And also, not only do they have these super beautiful displays, they also have a super yummy and super inexpensive restaurant, which is perfect. Everything is just perfect. The only, well, it would be a little bit better if they had some iced coffee. Other than that, perfect place to shop. So that's where we're at today. We're just gonna be looking around. Um, I will likely end up leaving with a few things because I have never left Ikea without buying something. It's just one of those things that's like Target, like you just buy stuff, <laughs> it just happens. So yeah, that's what we're doing today and I've got on my Augusty concert tee that I got at his show in the forum um, because he's going into the military today. Technically, he's already in because it's the 22nd but he, Korea's ahead of time so he's already in but yeah, so this is just for support, and I will link the video where we go to go see him because that is one of my favorite vlogs of all time. One of my favorite memories of all time. But anyway, yeah, let's go shop. So really quick, we're gonna go ahead to the restaurant first because it's lunchtime, but we just walked into this like little section, and look at this strange throw blanket for the bottom of the bed. Doesn't it look like a scarf? I mean, it opens up wider than this, but even still, it's quite thin. It looks like a scarf. A scarf. I kind of like it. And also, I've never seen this before, but they are actively s setting up a display section right now. I've never seen that, you know, never seen them in the act of actually doing it. How cool. It's like they're, you know, designers and stuff. I wonder if they have like an actual design that they're told to do or if they're able to have like creative freedom and kind of just decide on their own what they want. But that is so interesting to me. So we're actually here a little bit of off time. It's not exactly lunchtime. It's a little bit later than lunchtime, but that's kind of good because there's no line now. I love this whole little totally decorated seating area too. IKEA is just the best. Hi, it's Alula, you cutie. You can keep in your glasses. So we have finished eating lunch and we are starting to look around. I'm keeping my eye out for a couple things, specifically some wall art. Um, I want to get a shelf for Evangeline's room and I don't know, I guess just whatever else catches my fancy. And look at over here, they're doing another design thing. Oh no, maybe she's just taking it down. Yeah, she's just taking it down. Hello over there. Tallulah found a new best friend. <laughs> she loves pigs. Every single room that we come to, I'm always like, oh, I love this room, it's my favorite. And then we go to the next one, I'm like, oh, I love this room, it's my favorite. They do such a fantastic job of making everything look so nice and making you want to buy it all. One of the things that I love to do when I come to Ikea is like, I imagine what the person and the life of that person is like that would live in each of these spaces that they make, right? So, so like this guy who lives here, Probably lives in like, I don't know, Chicago or Seattle maybe. He works from home probably. And he's got some good money. These people, look at this is one of my favorite rooms ever. Every single time that I come here, I love it. This whole like green with white and gold is so, oh, so nice. <laughs> this kid is so weird. <laughs> I love how warm this room is. Look at that, I would never, ever even think to pick that color for the walls, but look at how pretty it looks. I just love it. It's so funny, like, they just display everything so nice in a way that you're like, hey, I never would have thought of that. I never would have bought that, but it looks really nice. I just found the perfect chair for Evangeline. Look at how cute is this. 
I don't like the gray. I don't like anything in gray, pretty much. So if they had that in another color. <gasps> oh. So we walked into this really cute little outdoor space and oh, it smells so good and fresh and like plants out here. It smells so nice. How's this little outdoor space? Super cute. Let me know if you find it. They gotcha me. Gotcha? Gotcha me. <laughs> they gotcha me. I thought these were like real and they were on. And this is like a decal, like a picture. But I totally really thought that those were real. I got gotcha. So we found another really beautiful and also really yummy smelling room with this high up bed. I love this so much, but look at this pretty lamp. It's like a light pink. I don't know if you can see. Oh, so pretty. I know it's a bed, but this would be my reading nook because my main bed's out there. Yeah, I feel like this would be like a perfect little reading nook area. I can't zoom out enough so that they can see how. Let me see. Yeah, see, look at That's just perfect. Love it. And it looks so cozy. Hey guys, it's Tulula, and I'm just here to say subscribe to her channel. Subscribe now. Subscribe. Subscribe. The bad thing about IKEA is that you look at everything and you take so much longer than you realize that you're taking, and then all of a sudden hunger hits you, like smack in the face, and there's no food anywhere unless you go all the way back to the restaurant which I don't want to do because we've already walked I don't know how far but I need like a Snickers or something I feel like I can't go on I need a snack Tulula's getting delirious everything that she sees that she can sit on she sits on oh my gosh another thing that I need to get is some taller plants and I am 1025 trillion percent behind the fake plants over real plants in the house couple of reasons number one I kill them they never stay alive number two bugs always get in my house whenever I have real plants so I do not like that and number three yeah that's cute too and number three I heard and I don't know if this is true but I honestly believe it is true that fake plants do the same thing for you as far as like your mood and stuff when you see a real plant a fake plant does the same thing in your house so thousand and twenty five trillion percent team fake plants in your house <laughs> they have some so like really 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 adorable this is like ugh, I just love this whole section but honestly like I feel look at this this is my cart we have gone through nearly this entire shore this is my cart how wonderful am I doing I'm showing so much restraint so I got all the way down here and then I realized I need to go back up to the kids section but look at how cute is this they just have all these like little sharks and sea creatures. I just love this so much. It's adorable. I love their displays, you guys. I love them. Since I had to come back up here, I got to see this little area finished. How cute is it? How's it look? What do you guys think? The other fantastic thing is their as-is section. I always look at this clearance section. This is where I got the brand new, still in the package, humongous rug for my living room. And it was like, I think it was originally like $189 or something like that, but it was here for $69. Brand new. I love this section. All right, so here is my cart. I've got a bookshelf for Evie. Well, for her room, which is soon to be all the girls' room. Some boxes for their room. A little plant for the bathroom. This is also for Emmanuel's bathroom. This is what I think that that little outdoor sm space smelled like. It's like so like grassy and fresh and oh I just love it so much like it doesn't smell like grass it smells like fresh outdoors I love it and then um, just a little pot for that this little fold it like opens kind of like a book so like it's like the two frames you know on the, that would go on the shelf like this and then I got this pretty little green bowl big green bowl I guess open it up a little so you guys can see it but it's like this like very soft sage green um, I got this to put fruit in, which I'm so excited about. And then a little mirror to put on the wall in the girls' room, because, yeah, so cute. All in all, I feel like I showed an awful lot of restraint, um, especially because I was by myself, so I didn't have a manual being like, no, we don't need that, no, we don't need that, so. 
I think I did a fantastic job. This is like the least amount that I've ever walked out of IKEA And I feel like I was just looking at necessities. Except for that bowl, but that's okay. It's gonna be super useful and super cute with fruit in it. I'm happy. Okay, so we just packed up the car and we are heading out of Ikea. It is so much later than we anticipated it to be. It's literally almost nine o'clock now. What time is it? Yeah, 8.36, which you guys, I don't even know like if I can explain how hungry I am. Like my stomach is yelling at me right now. I am so hungry, but it's okay because we are going to In-N-Out as you do every opportunity you can because In-N-Out is the best. So that's where we're going now. And then after that, we're gonna go get some goodies at 85 degrees Celsius. So I'm still excited, having a great time. Super tired, so beyond tired. We were here for what, like six hours shopping? I feel like I never come less than six hours to Ikea. <laughs> Which is why you'd think I'd be more prepared. Where's my water bottle? Where are my snacks? Why didn't I bring any of that stuff? But it's okay, because we're gonna go eat now. All right, we've made it to In-N-Out and I just got all stressed out trying to park my huge car in this beyond crowded parking lot with very tiny spaces, but that's okay, I did it because I'm a pro. Okay. We used to do this all the time when we were little. I hope you guys can hear me because it's really loud in here. Hi, my name is Chubbs. My mother's name is Chubbs. My father's name is Chubbs. We're the Chubbs family. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, yes, I feel like it's pretty obvious that Tabula and I are delirious from <laughs> hunger. We need to eat. <laughs> we need <laughs> We do, it's nine o'clock. I need to eat. Look at this one over here, she needs to eat. <laughs> We're saved, the food has come. Oh my goodness, <laughs> All right, so we've eaten dinner and we are here to get some goodies. We're alive now that we've eaten. Before it was, I was not so alive, I was gonna die. There are so many wonderfully delicious looking options. Oh, just delicious. So I'm glad we came here after we ate. I know I would have bought infinitely more than I should have if we didn't eat first. Oh my gosh, this stuff looks so good. What do I get? All right, there it is. There is my tray. Half of this is for Emmanuel. All of those chocolates, those are for me. But yeah, looks good. I'm really pleasantly surprised that they had so much left. I didn't think they were gonna. But they do. Oh my gosh, and then everywhere you turn there's more goodies. Like, what are these? Those look good. What are those? What is this? This looks delicious. That is my one complaint about this place. Most of the things that you look at don't have a tag on it. And then you have zero clue what it is. Like, look at all of these. They don't have tags. What are these things? Are they filled with something? Like, what's the flavor? What is going on? So that's that's my major complaint. I don't like that because I I'm feel like I'm missing out on things because I didn't know what it was. You know what I mean? Oh, look at this. It's This one's a coffee cruffin. So I'm going to assume that that one over there is also. What exactly is a cruffin? Okay, so now we come over to the case. Which, oh my gosh, the stuff in here just looks and smells so delicious. Look at this. This is called a macchiato cream cake. How pretty does that look? Like, that just looks so pretty, and it looks delicious. Everything that I've had from here before has been so yummy, and honestly, I just feel like the prices, like, you cannot beat this. I like this place a lot. So I don't even feel bad that I'm getting as much as I'm getting, because I'm, like, never up in this area either, so. I don't feel bad about it. They also have a ton of specialty drinks. We have sea salt drinks, espresso, blended specialty drinks, boba, lavender lattes, oh, taro lavender latte, um, strawberry lemonade, milk teas, various other different types of tea. I have never had a drink from here, but I feel like I'm probably doing myself a disservice because their, their baked goods are so yummy, so the drinks are probably yummy too. There it is, my bag full of treats. I cannot 
wait to take this home and show Emmanuel what I got because he's gonna be excited. And I brought home a bunch of yummy bread and then there's Tallulah over here still dancing like a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were feeling that. <laughs> they just went and locked the door. You know why? Because it's 10 o'clock and this place is closed. And I just feel like a crazy party animal. Like, who, uh, who am I? I do not go out and eat dinner at 9 and then get dessert at 10. I hope you guys enjoyed that video of shopping along with us today at Ikea, one of the best places to shop at. Getting yummy food at In-N-Out and then getting some yummy snacks here. I really cannot wait to take that whole bag full home so that Emmanuel can see all the goodies that I brought. And yeah, I don't know, that was a good time. That was a long, long, long shopping day, but that was a really good time. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button and please subscribe because I'm trying to grow my channel and it would really help me out if you guys enjoy my content, if you would please subscribe. So yeah, anyway, thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.